Few people who use the expression Sweet Fanny Adams know of its origin. However, there was a time when it would have been recognised instantly, when the name Fanny Adams made sensational headlines, creating a wave of horror, revulsion and pity. It was here, in the small, quiet, urban town of Alton in Hampshire, that a vicious murder of an eight-year-old girl took place on August the 24th, 1867. Her name was Fanny Adams. Fanny Adams lived here in Tanhouse Lane, close to Flood Meadow, an area of streams, ponds, meadows and trees where the local children could safely play. Fanny, her friend Minnie Warner and seven-year-old sister Lizzie set off to play. On the way, they met a young man of respectable appearance, despite the fact that he had been drinking. The man offered Minnie and Lizzie money to buy some sweets, but he wanted Fanny to accompany him to the nearby village of Shaldon for her halfpenny. Fanny took the money but refused to go with him. So he picked her up and carried her away. It was 1.30 in the afternoon. Minnie and Lizzie continued to play and eventually went home about five o'clock. They met their neighbour, Mrs. Gardner, and told her what happened. She ran to tell Mrs. Adams and the anxious women hurried towards Flood Meadow. They met the same young man returning. He admitted giving money to the girls but said that Fanny had returned to her friends. He told them he was a clerk to a local solicitor, William Clement, and his calm composure and respectability impressed the women and they allowed him to go. At 7pm, with no sign of Fanny, a search party was formed and they found the poor child's dreadfully mutilated remains in a nearby hop field. It was a sickening scene of carnage described in the Curtis Museum as follows. The child's severed head lay on two poles, deeply slashed from mouth to ear and across the left temple. Her right ear had been cut off. Most horribly, both her eyes were missing. Nearby lay a leg and a thigh. A wider search revealed her dismembered torso the entire contents of chest and pelvis had been torn out and scattered, with some internal organs even further slashed or mutilated. So savage was the butchery that other parts of her body were recovered only after extensive searches over several days. Her eyes were found in the river way. Sergeant William Cheney arrested 29-year-old Frederick Baker at his workplace. His clothes and shoes were splattered with blood. He was carrying two small knives. During the searches at his home, Baker's diary was found, and on the 24th of August, the entry read, Killed a young girl. It was a fine hot day. He was locked away in the town hall to await the inquest at the Duke's Head Inn. Baker's trial opened at Winchester Assizes on December the 5th. The defence was centred on hereditary family insanity, but the jury returned a guilty verdict after only 15 minutes. Seen here is the entrance to the dungeons where Frederick Baker was taken after his trial. Frederick Baker was hanged before a crowd of 5,000, a large proportion of whom consisted of women, in front of Winchester's County Prison at 8am on Christmas Eve, 1867. Before his death, he wrote to Fanny's parents, begging their forgiveness. 
Fanny's headstone was erected by public subscription in 1874. It was renovated a few years ago and still stands in the town cemetery. It might have been our only reminder of this tragic affair had it not been for the macabre humour of British sailors. Served with tins of mutton, the latest convenient food, they declared the butchered contents must be Sweet Fanny Adams.